Welcome back. We're going to explore some interesting questions from PSLE 2020 paper. And this question is actually testing your child on patterns. Uh, it may not seem like a pattern question because in patterns you are, also, you are always given a table. But if you observe this question closely, right, it's basically testing the same concept as patterns. Kisi hung some identical rings vertically as shown. Alright, so here are some identical rings. And the thickness of each ring was 1 cm. For part A, they want the total distance from the top of the first ring to the bottom of the fourth ring. Alright, so as you can see, right, the rings they overlap over here. And can you tell me what is the overlap part? It's basically just 1 cm plus 1 cm, okay? And how do we know that? Because the thickness is 1 cm. And when they overlap, they overlap at these two parts here. And so that's why the overlap region is actually uh, 2 cm. Okay, so basically, right, every time the ring extends, the extension is basically only by 7 cm. And that's because uh, they overlap over here, which is 2 cm. Do you get what I mean? Alright, so the first ring is 9 cm. The second ring will extend the total length by 7 cm. The third ring will also extend the length by 7 cm. And the fourth ring will also extend the length by 7 cm. So can you tell me what is the total length for part A? Very simple, right? It's basically just 9 plus 3 times 7. Okay, so 9 is referring to the first length. Then plus 3. 3 is basically the number of the intervals. Right, in this case, there are 3 sevens over here. Right, 1, 2, and 3. So you take 9 plus 3 times 7, the answer is 30 cm. Okay, and now for part B, the question says that the distance from the top of the first string to the bottom of the last string is 198 cm. So from the first all the way to the last is 198. And the question asks how many rings the KC hang all together. Can you recall how to do this question? Alright, the first step is to take 198 minus away 9, okay, because 9 is the length of the first ring. Alright, you get 189 cm. Okay, then you take 189 divided by 7 to find how many intervals are there. Alright, so in this case, when I take 189 divided by 7, I basically get 27 additional rings. Alright, so to take note, okay, this 27 is not the answer, right, because 27 is basically the number of additional rings. So to find a total number of rings, what should you do? You have to add the first ring, right? So 27 plus 1, the answer is 28 rings. The next question that we're going to explore is also from the PSLE 2020 paper. And this question is testing on area and perimeter. In figure 1, A, B, C, D is a rectangular piece of paper. After 6 identical triangles are cut out from the rectangular paper, the remaining paper is shown in figure 2. And the remaining area is 279 cm squared. For part A, they want the area of each triangle that was cut out. So part A is quite straightforward, right? Okay, to do part A, you simply take 25 times 15, which is the area of the original piece of paper, minus the way 279, which is the area of the second piece of paper. You will get 96. And this 96 will be equal to the area of the six tri triangles. Right, because the 96 is the area of the 6 missing parts. So to find one triangle, you simply take 96 divided by 6 and the answer is 16 cm squared. Okay, so part A should be very straightforward to you. And now for part B, the perimeter of the shaded part in figure 2 is 54 cm longer than the perimeter of the rectangular piece of paper in figure 1. They want to find a perimeter of each triangle. Alright, so the question says that the parameter of this figure is basically 54 cm longer than the parameter of this figure. Okay, if you notice over here, right, the 25 and the 25, are they the same? Yes, alright, basically this 25 and this 25 is the same as the 25 and 25 over here. Alright, so essentially what the question means is the length of all these cutout regions Right, which is the, the triangular parts, okay? It's basically 54 cm more than the length of these two parts. Do you get what I mean? Right, if you are not sure what I mean, let me show to you in a slow manner. Right, so the parameter of figure 2 is basically the parameter of figure 1, right, which is 25 plus 25, then plus 15 times 2, right, because it's 15 plus 15, then plus another 54 cm. 
Okay, and that's because the parameter of figure 2 is 54 cm more than the parameter of figure 1. Alright, so the parameter of figure 2 is 134. Alright, so now to find the parameter of the cutout portion, okay, you basically take 134 minus the weight 25 and 25, the answer is 84. Okay, so take note, right? 84 is basically the length of all the red color lines. Okay, of course, if you don't want to do like this, you can also take a shortcut of basically take uh, 15 plus 15, then plus 54, you also get 84 cm. Right, and that's the length of the red color lines. Okay, so how do we find the one set of red color lines? Basically, we want to find the length of uh, these two red color lines. You basically take 84 divided by 6, right? Because there are 6 triangles, you get 14 cm. Right, so 2 of them with 14 cm. Okay, but do take note, okay? You can't take 14 divided by 2 to find one length, oh. The reason is because you never see that the triangles are isosceles. Right, so you can't assume that the two lengths are the same. Do you get what I mean? Alright, so they want the parameter of each triangle. Okay, the parameter we you take the 14 plus the length over here. Alright, and we know the length over here will be 5 cm because 15 divided by 3 give you 5. Alright, so the parameter of each triangle will be 14 plus 5, and the answer is 19 cm. Welcome back. We are going to explore one more question from the PSLE 2020 uh, math paper. And this question is probably one of the hardest questions in the paper. And I believe this is question 17 of paper 2, which is the last question. Alright, and this question is testing on part whole concept, which is a very common concept in fractions word problems. Mrs. Wu spent 1 out of 6 of her money on a dress and 2 blouses. The cost of the dress is 3 times the cost of each blouse. She bought a watch with 3 quarters of her remaining money. The watch costs $220.50 more than a dress. For part A, they asked what fraction of her money did Mrs. Wu spend on the blouse. Alright, so since the question says that the cost of the dress is 3 times the cost of each blouse, we can let each dress be 3 units and 2 blouses will be 2 units. Okay, and why is that so? Because each dress is 3 units, every blouse will be 1 unit, so 2 blouses will be 2 units. Okay, so 3 dress. Alright, so the question says that Mrs. Wu spent 1 out of 6 of her money on 1 dress and 2 blouses. To find 1 dress and 2 blouses, you basically get 3 units plus 2 units, which is equal to 5 units. Okay, and these 5 units will represent 1 out of 6 of our money. Do you understand? Alright, so 1 out of 6 of our money represents 5 units. The question asks, what fraction of our money did she spend on 1 blouse? And we know that 1 blouse is only 1 unit, right? So how to find 1 unit? To find 1 unit, you simply take 1 out of 6 divided by 5. Okay, and to do division, you can flip this uh, 5 over, right? it's, it's the same as 1 out of 6 times 1 over 5, and the answer is 1 over 30. Do you understand? Alright, if you don't understand, let me repeat again. Right, because we know that 1 out of 6 represents 5 units, to find 1 unit, you simply take 1 out of 6 divided by 5, and the answer is 1 over 30. Alright, so each blouse will cost 1 over 30 of Mrs. Wu money. Alright, and now for part B, the question asks, how much money did Mrs. Hu have at first? Okay, so in order to find how much money she have at first, we need to find how much is one unit. And how do we do that? Okay, so you gotta look at this statement here, right? She bought a watch with three quarters of her remaining money. What are this sentence means? Three quarters of her remaining money means you must take three quarters times her remainder. Can you recall? Of means you times, right? So her remainder is basically 1 whole minus 1 out of 6, which is 5 out of 6. Do you understand? Right, because if Mrs. Wu spent 1 out of 6, the remainder will be 5 out of 6. And if you take 3 quarter times 5 out of 6, right, you'll get 5 out of 8. Okay, so the watch will cost 5 out of 8 of her money. So how do we find the cost of one dress? Right, to find the cost of one dress, you basically take the cost of the blouse times three. Okay, because the dress is three times the cost of each blouse. Alright, so three times one over 30, you get one out of 10. 
okay and since the question give you the difference between the watch and address all right you've got to find a difference between the watch and address you take 5 out of 8 minus 1 out of 10 you get 21 over 40 so the difference over here will represent 220.50 okay so to find one unit you simply take a 220.50 divided by 21 right you should get uh, ten dollars and fifty cents and since the question asked for the total money at first you should multiply by 40 right because uh, 40 units is the original amount of money so when you take ten dollars and fifty cents times 40 the answer should be four hundred twenty dollars